Welcome to Euro C Sucks, the weekly podcast where we review and critique the best and the worst fan-created original characters from the My Little Pony fandom. This show is unscripted and unfiltered, so moderate language will be used. As well, this show can be a little heavy on the critique at times. That being said, if you are easily offended, don't watch. If not, feel free to join us for this week's show. This is episode 21 for the 25th of July, 2014. That's a lot of 20s. We're going to be looking at characters from the fanfiction uh, realm that is Fallout Equestria. Uh, we at Euro C Sucks would also like to issue ahead of time, though we are not going to worry about spoilers or try to um, spoil anything for people, but we are dealing with some characters in this episode that may spoil part of Fallout Equestria fanfic or Project Horizons. Um, that being said, a little bit of extra warning, warning you about possible spoilers that may leak we're going to try not to worry about that, but anyway, on with the show. My name is Mofi Thunderbirds, I'm the host and show manager. This week I'm joined by... Commander Sparkle, assistant project manager. I'm Eddie Bobom in charge of gathering questions and viewer interaction. And I'm Smooth Sailing, and I'm the editor. Speaking of falling out between friends, we're actually gaining friends this week. This week we have a special guest. Uh, Commander, do you want to introduce our special guest this week? So, uh, our special guest this week is uh, Soren Wants Pie, a friend of mine who I've known for a good while, who is part of our online group, but he, now he's on the show! Yeah! Show. <laughs> uh, yo, what's up? Yo, and what's up? Excellent way to introduce yourself. <laughs> Dad intro. Yo, dog. Um. Jenny Whack. Uh, that's all I got. So. Sorry, guys. Don't uh, the intro wasn't any better. <laughs> How it always works on this show is that we're always going to be giving the choice of the theme this week, or the week that the special guest is on, to the special guest. So this week, Soren, uh, you picked Follow Equestria. Why? Uh, because it's fucking awesome. Um, I've actually talked to Commander. We talk about Follow Equestria a lot because it's fucking cool. And... Um, it has definitely changed our lives. Uh, reading this fucking book has changed our yeah. lives, and I thought that was pretty profound, so why not? Hmm. So cool. fuck it. Right on. And it's a, and it's a uh, really big universe. Yeah, it's fucking cool. Also, oh, shit, I also love it. Also, pretty, pretty good time to note that uh, both Mummified and I know next to nothing about Fallout Equestria. So, moving on from that, on to fan art this week. We got at least this adorable piece, this adorable piece of Commander and Socks. Commander yeah. and Socks! Is, okay, I actually have, uh, like, I didn't even realize it, but I have Socks with almost those exact same colors in a pattern, and those are pretty much, in, they're like the, almost the same color as the um, highlights in Twilight's Mane, and I, when I realized it, I freaked out. So, yeah, we got a bunch of different uh, uh, we sets this got week. The, uh, she's so smooth piece. She's so freaking s- beautiful. <laughs> I especially... We also got that really great piece of sword. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah. No, no we didn't. <laughs> Too bad, Soren. Uh, also, Eat it. one of the pieces uh, we got as fan art was a color of our piece we did at Everfree. Which is awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah and it's then. Nice, uh, it's nice to be able to see Mummified's lines. Yeah. They're the worst. Uh, we also had the uh, Power Pony set by Cute Kitten Nex, I guess. I, I feel like all of those worked so well, except for Commanders. He should have been the mas- Masked Matterhorn. Yeah. Which one was Masked Matterhorn? Twilight. Twilight. All right. Who do you think? So Who the gonna... fuck do you think? Honestly. Oh, I get it. Commander Sparkle. So you okay. you and Rainbow Dash, Smith? Yeah. Okay. I mean, all right. Let's just uh, look a gift horse in the mouth. Who else would I work with? Like friggin' Philly Second or I don't know, Pinky. The Saddle Rager. Yeah, I don't know. Saddle Rager might work, but uh... Mm, no. Anyways, uh, speaking of us all, uh, we also got the Euro C Sucks crew piece of us all being gender bent. Yeah, that was quite lovely. I like it. Smooth is okay with this. I am also okay with this. Uh, Satin Velvet uh, did two more pieces of the gender-swapped versions of us. Hopefully next week, sometime, we'll get the uh, smoothie. And and maybe maybe the uh, Soren one, too. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. (laughs) Either way. 
the the totally existent one. So and then uh zip on the side that we haven't added to the folder as of recording yet. We have the Juris X Sunstream it's actually in OTV. Yeah, well, yeah, but I'm just saying that there's also another one that was commissioned. Wait, no, that no. one's Juris want... and Midnight. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Mums has just been getting so much work done this week. Uh, he's been getting so many fucking fan pieces. I've been there for almost all of them. Yeah. Like, holy shit. And then also, uh, Cinder Kitty also made one. For me, it's a Darvel. And then Prism Sound, it's Mustache Queen. I love uh, it. <laughs> M- M- Medi, got a, M- Medi got a nice uh, Oh Touch Bad tablet uh, piece. Oh Touch Bad. I, I'm, not even, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Yeah, neither am I. <laughs> it makes me smile. <laughs> but it makes me laugh, and it's, it's in a good way. I love it. it I love our smile. fan art. Uh, but moving on from that, news this week. Anybody new? things at all um soren is new yeah well yeah uh um, well i sh- i showered a lot this week i i brushed my teeth gross um oh i brushed my that's teeth about too it. that's really uh, about it <gasps> no way playing fire emblem awakening <sighs> Oh yeah i'm we happy lost, for you we, um, like we haven't heard days. the end of it yet i don't know what day it is right now Medi, Medi. Yeah, he's like, I've been playing for like two days. I'm like, no, no, you've been playing for like four. Like, fuck. I I thought I'd only been playing for two days. Then I looked at the clock and it said that it was Thursday. I think I got the game on Monday. It is now Sunday and I don't know what happened to Saturday and Friday. Awesome. So that's an addiction we then have to cure him. But anyway, moving on to the meat and potatoes of this week's episode. Uh, Like we said at the beginning, Fallout Equestria. We're going to work on it. Oh, and since we have five people this week instead of the standard four, the Die of Fate has changed to a, da, da, da. To it a D10. It now has six more sides. To a D10. So if I roll a one to a two, that's going to be me. A three to a four is Commander. Five to six is Medi. Seven to eight is Smooth. And nine to ten is Soren. So, you know, if it's a one in five chance. Yay. You know? Wait. Yeah, one in five chance of being one of us. Anyway, so... Uh, first one off the bat. Oh god, no, it fell down. Yeah, see, D10. A, a, one in, a one in five chance of being one of us. So the other chances are just it not being one of us. Or falling on the ground. I'm just saying, uh, that you would roll one like you'd roll a D4. Yeah, I, I learned my. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it rolled a one. So we're gonna look at my good OC this week. So, this is Toxic Heart. A uh, nice little character sheet uh, basing around this little bat pony character from the Fallout Quest for the Universe. Um, uh, it talks, uh, her, qu- her quietness often allows her to be easily overlooked. She is more... She is one more to listen and analyze before taking action. She has lived her life within a stable hidden in the depths of the Everfree Forest, untouched by outside sources. Due to his compact living quarters, her flight ability is below that of a normal bat pony slash pegasi of her age. This has bothered her a little as she can easily stalk about the halls undetected by hoof. Upon leaving the stable, she dreams of only getting uh, only getting to see the starlit sky at least once in her lifetime. Even she, even it, given she is a bat, she takes negative or er, she takes negatives. Oh, she's dirt. not as good during the day as she is during the night. She's nocturnal. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, that you know, it's like okay. Well, obviously, if you were stuck in a stable or I guess a vault, I'm assuming that's the same thing. Yes. Uh, there, you know, that kind of makes sense that her wings wouldn't be as good. I like the fact that this character and my other one have included a special, but. On the other, or this one's a little bit more obvious because it actually says S strength, P perception, blah 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 blah. While the other one was like S six, P four, and I'm like, what the heck does that mean? And then I'm like, oh right, special. I remember that. That was a thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, she's eight years old. Uh, she's a bat pony, and then she is naturally talented with toxin slash chemical brewing. Love is po- uh, poison. 
And then you know, a bunch of other like little things about like uh, uh, perks and traits and whatnot, and things that actually like relate back to like actual stat things in the video game, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. So the art style I think is really cute. Um, the chibi style definitely adds to the adorable freaking cuteness of it all. Um, I like all the inclusions on her uh, character sheet just because it's got like the multiple sides of the mane, the back, the tail. The the fact that she is technically a blank flank, but they still put in what her cutie mark is going to look like. And the inclusion of her stable suit. Yeah, okay, so, the stable suit is adorable. Can I just say that? Oh my god, it's what? really cute. Go ahead, guys. Tell me what you think. Well, I just told you that I thought the stable suit's really cute, because oh my god, it's cute. Other uh, than that. I want to uh, know... This is a Bat Pony OC. Really? Whoa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! It's really cool! So, uh, being the Fallout oh, nerd, I, being the Fallout nerd <laughs> I am, you know the special, uh, the special skills that she has listed here? Uh, your, your starting character can only have up to 40, and you can only get more later on. Her stuff does equal out to 40, so yeah, she's perfect with those special skills. Oh. I, I would assume okay. so. No, there are it, some people yeah. who just, they don't care about that and they just give random numbers, but this one is, fits perfectly within the Fallout special skills section. Well, considering she's a kid in theory, uh, or actually, she's eight years old, she technically hasn't left the vault, and in the normal progression of the game, you wouldn't have gained anything extra until... You're outside, whatever. So yeah, so she fits in perfectly. Yeah. She's not a... She, Commit. She has her faults and stuff, and it's nice. Also, uh, low perception. Thank you. Not ever. No, no perception's useless. Don't get it. Anyway. Why not? Perception's Commit. cool. It lets you go faster. Well, Commander, what were you about to talk about? <laughs> um, the thing I was gonna say was that, uh... Do you know if this person has written anything for this character, like a fanfic of any kind, or plans to? I don't have. I don't know. I don't think so. Because I mean, the, 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 just gonna like one thing that's going to be you're gonna notice throughout this is it, it's gonna be a little bit different how the how it goes off. This one is a nice way to sort of transition between the, like, our normal way of reviewing, where it's like, oh, you got this nicer like. It's nice uh, character um, reference sheet and stuff with all these things. Most of these, th most of this is not going to be done like this. Um, what? Did you guys all pick ones that have like are either from like main stories of no. Fallout Equestria? No. Okay, I was worried about that because then it's just like okay, I guess sure, whatever. Anyway, um, uh, Soren. Uh, real quick. I've got some. Okay, good, good. Yeah. We know we're on the same page. Um, real quick, what I want to say is I'd like to know which stable this pony's from, because a big thing in the Fallout universe in and of itself is the stables, um, or, sorry, vault stables, whatever yeah, the fuck. Uh, different kinds of um, experiments were done by the pre-war, or the pre-blast ponies with the vaults or stables, to where they would see if they could make the best um, post-apocalyptic society. So they would do different um, uh, experiments in these stables, like, oh, this one's all, this one's a matriarchy, this one's a patriarchy, blah, blah, blah. This one is 1,000 blah, blah, blah. females with only one male, and this one is 1,000 males with only one female. Yeah, exactly. So I would like to know which stable she's from, because a lot of the times the hardships that they get from that stable or the lifestyle that they live in the stable ties into the story later on of like what hardships they have outside of the stable. Like they're like, Oh, that's how it was in the stable, but now it's different. So yeah. Uh, I like it. I think it's super cute. The art style is nice and fun. It's not too like independent. It's pretty show accurate, except for the fact that it's pretty freaking chibi. And it's super adorable and cute. So, I I like it. I think it's cool. Uh, moving on to three. That means it's Commander's turn. Well, uh, like I was sort of saying, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, This is actually a picture that I made that we're going to be featuring of the iconic OC Little Pip. 
from Fallout Equestria. So, t yes, some of the OCs are very well known. Because th I feel like sort of to talk about Fallout Equestria and how you should build a like, or how characters should interact and be made in that world. So it, it's nice to be able to touch on, you know, the main character in the like universe. But um, so I I actually ha I got a nice little thing that I need to quickly open up. Sorry. You got permission to use this character, right? Yes. Good. Got, I got permission. Got, don't don't yeah yeah. Many got permission. Thank you, Medi. Hey, hail base god Medi. Uh, he does everything. But, uh, don't Not don't really. worry about permission stuff. We got all the permission stuff. Okay. But um, so little Pip is the main protagonist of the of the iconic uh, fanfic Fallout Equestria. Uh, I have a little snippet thing here to read, but. Uh, Young, socially awkward, and experienced in the equestrian wasteland, Little Pip has more than the odds stacked against her as she sets out um, into the wastes to find and return the rebellious vocalist Velvet Remedy, who is a, um, part of her stable, back to their home in Stable 2. Still, she is not without her skills, and her quick thinking has gotten her into a jam on more than one occasion. Hacking and lockpicking are among her chief ch faculties as well, allowing her to turn two-century-old two remnants of old technology and lawn-abandoned stores to her advantage. Despite her lack of experience, she is a natural leader and tactician, able to devise bold plans in relatively little time and utilize limited resources to their maximum advantage. Her idealist views and charismatic, if somewhat blunt, personality have earned her many allies in the waste a good thing so, since some of those um same ideals have earned her many enemies along the way so okay. basically that's just a like a run through of the kind of person she is and some of the things that she's good at which okay so, did you write that yourself i did not write that myself actually okay okay i i i, I did some a little bit of things here and there but that's mostly from uh, a character profile that i that is out there on the internet um from uh, the radio who's the uh fucking awesome whatever. yeah i i, I was no, about to say no, thank no. you for writing us a book report but no no no, well, no that's you just didn't commander that. in a nutshell book report <laughs> yeah. but nutshell. to be honest if someone like myself who has no idea about any of these characters that kind of was a little informative that's that, and that is why I specifically, because I knew that that existed, and I knew that that would be a very good way to sort of get it out there what the character was like, very simply, without having to like go into detail things about the story, yeah. other than whatever Scarlet Rose or whatever the fuck her Velvet name is, Remedy. Velvet Remedy, Velvet Remedy. That's it. <sighs> what a plebe. Probably. Anyway, uh, are you done describing this character, Commander? Uh, yes, I am. Fantastic, Soren. Since you are our special guest. Well, little Pip, uh, first of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you, Commander, for promoting your own art, you uh, snaky bastard. Yeah, um, that's kind of... Second of all... No, no. Yeah, I'm day. just kidding, I'm Can just, just kidding. It's, it's a great it's piece. It's so much nicer not to... Oh, Fucking... wait. Oh, Commander, do we have permission to use this on the show? Um, uh, no. Damn it! Uh, yeah, that, that, that was... Fine. Was smooth yeah, change yeah, the picture on screen, we're already... One. Fuck, I have to find a different picture to use for my <laughs> If only that commander yeah, guy no, wasn't that... such a jerk. Yeah, yeah, seriously, dude. fuck him. Yeah, anyway. Fuck that dude. <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry, yeah, Joe. That, that was good on your part. Um, speaking from my standpoint, I have actually read this fic all the way through. Um, I'm a huge reader. My favorite bi book used to be The Hobbit. Before I read this book, and Little Pip, amazing, love the character, well written. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to, just, I'm going to. Um, well, words escape me, but go read this fucking book, because it became my new favorite book. Good character, just so well-written, um, life-changing uh, for many people. I mean, wow, great character. She reacts very well to the environment. She's a resilient character, yeah, she, that's what she, I like she's, about her. She's really resilient, and she has to undergo, she undergoes all these, like, trials and tribulations that, like... Because Fallout, yeah, it, it's really fun and stuff, but it's sort of hard to relate it to, um, like, us sometimes, because we don't have to deal with anything like that. But, you know, like, the way that uh, Little Pip, ha like, you, like, you sort of get to understand, how, like, how she thinks and stuff like that through the book, it really it creates this endearing character who's extremely relatable to people going through troubles and hardships. Great. 
Smooth, what do you think of this character, real quick? She's, she's really cute, just like the last one that I didn't get to really say anything about. Well, say stuff we about this character. Said, like anything at all about aesthetics, but whatever. She's really cute. I like the green. It pops from her very toned-down palette. Hmm. Which I agree. Looks kind of basic, think, but I don't know. I think and I, I'm I'm going to say a thing because uh, speaking about the toned down palette, but I like sort of the saying how it's like a sort of a toned down palette, which is something that really like it like thematically fits with the universe that the character is in. That's all I was trying to say. Cool, awesome. Oh. So that's it for that one. We're going to have to move on to the next one, which is a five. So that means it's Medi's turn. Oh, wow, this is oddly in order. For now. Uh, so... My character is Emerald Flicker. Uh, Emerald Flicker was born and raised in Baltimore. Uh, her parents was a doctor in the Baltimore client uh, clinic. Ugh. Uh, she normally uh, likes to avoid the like outside area of the clinic because uh, she lives between Red Eye and a bunch of raider camps. Oh, and uh, she spends most of her fi- she spent most of her fillyhood in the client, so she's used to uh like empty Clinics. desks, empty desks and stuff. And also, when the person mm, because this person was orig- this person originally made this character for a role play she did with Fallout Equestria's universe and her friends. And uh, her special skill is also a forty. So, yes, thank you, very nice. Uh. She's commonly uh, looking for pre-war books and damaged medical supplies to it to add to her supplies, uh, but like one day raiders attacked her uh, clinic and the clinic doesn't have a very strong defense because it's only has a couple mercenaries. That's the only people guarding the area. And when you're surrounded by raider camps and Red Eye, which Red Eye is a character from the actual fanfic, so this is set in the Fallout Equestria original fanfic. Air, uh, time period. Uh, and they only, the guards only carried basic sidearms because they weren't expecting much, but a huge raider came and attacked. Uh, she barely got away. Emler, Emerald keeps seems to keep to herself. She's a very loner type, but she has a couple of companions. Was that it, Minnie? Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh... Oh, yeah, she's, uh, oh, sorry. She also has a very, uh, Kill ones who kill others. That's her just. That's her uh, thought pattern when it comes to uh, this. Then doesn't she kill people? So, so she yeah, she if kill she kills herself? people, then people could kill her. It's very fun. No, she only kills evil. She. But she has is a it... good. St- she's in the good. She has good karma. So, she, so she's okay. lawful good. Say so she's lawful neutral. Or whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, Soren, what do you think of this character? All right, this character, uh, pretty good story. It's interesting. Like, um, it's it. Let's just say characters get stale when they're put in the same situation over and over again. This one out on an island, red eye raider camps. Jesus Christ! Um, it's it's a refreshing character, you know. Yeah, thank um, God. It's she's not just oh, I'm gonna. Dweller, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, she's just like oh, it's not like oh, I'm just gonna go out and be a badass and slay everybody. Um, it's, it's very refreshing character design, and I like that. Um, the only thing I have to say about it, um, I'm not digging the color, color palette too much. I'm sorry, nope. feelings will be stepped on here, but I'm, I'm not digging the color palette here. Uh, the green eyes with the green coat, it's, not, eh, you mean I white guess, coat. it's, um... Shut the fuck up. Uh, shut the fuck up, Medi. <laughs> no. But the green, the green eyes with her green coat, it's kind of monotonous a little bit. And then just that that kind of green with that kind of brown, something just doesn't mesh with it. And I mean, it, it's just a personal thing. You can like it. I don't give a fuck, but I don't. In so, defense of um, her colors, I feel like they fit the universe very well because they seem very, like, uh, we were just saying that word for little Pip's colors where they're... Down. Yeah, toned very down? toned down. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, say, I, wouldn't I would say that uh, is not a toned, the green is not very toned down. No, these colors are not toned down. Uh, I would say the the way the colors mesh, it's not very easy on the eyes. Not for me, anyway. Like it, it's mostly the there's, green. 
It's just, yeah, it's just, it's the too much. The green is a little like, bright, but I think if it was just maybe, I guess, toned down a little bit more. Right. My main problem what with the whole... Mean, dark? green. My main problem with the whole thing is the fact that the stroke length or stroke widths are not the same length anywhere in this whole piece, especially in the situations within the hair. It's the fact that you got the little bit coming in front of the horn is a, has a big fat stroke. The actual rest of the mane has a normal size stroke, but yet on the back part that come that, com that comes back behind the ear and down her neck, you have a thicker stroke on one side that doesn't even really connect, and then you have a fatter stroke leading into a tapered stroke that completely throws it off. If what else do you guys have to say about this character? I wish her tail was more tail. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's I also wish her coat didn't sit on her tail. Like, it actually had some weight on it. Maybe it's just a light coat. Maybe it's, I you do, know, a tail that's than stiff as all balls. It looks like it's I floating. Do the, mm, maybe that's how it's designed. I do believe the symbol on her yeah, coat no. is her cutie mark, which... If I'm, if that's her cutie mark, it's perfect. It fits with... That's the a good cutie. placement for it. Yeah. That's neat. I it's like also, that. it's the perfect type of cutie mark because it's simple and it's also nice colors. It kind of, it kind of matches the coat a little bit. I'm not it, into that, but it whatever. Would, it would definitely just I'd, be part of to, the coat. Oh yeah, yeah definitely see it on the character to get a full understanding of it. Why is she um, wearing pants? She's wearing leather oh, armor no. with a coat over it. And yes, that is uh, her cutie mark. Yeah. It's, it, okay. It, good. Good. Um, good. I, I just have a question of why the fuck were they not expecting to get ambushed by raiders camping between raiders and red eye? Well, you see, do not not like get fucked. Be, they, I'm assuming that they didn't have the supplies to be ready. Okay, that that's like that could, that would make more sense. It was just like you got you, you got to expect to be prepared and like yeah, you can you can you expect all you shit. want, but if all you have are pistols, go out and get some shit. Like, fuck at least. Yeah, yes, go it's... out, and when you immediately go out, get killed by the raiders who are outside. They were surrounded. That's, ha that's how sieges win. They freaking, the people inside can know exactly what to expect. That doesn't mean anything is going to happen yeah. for them. That means they're just going to they die. They could have gone to Red Eye, but then again, they we can all, do. people who know the fic know how Red Eye is. Uh, I really like her character, and I wish... And I know that she was only created for an RP, but I would actually really like to see her in a uh, a fanfic of her own. Mm-hmm. And that this is just to the uh, person, Rarity Kaiba. I really did like her old design. If you can give her old design another character, I would love to see that as well, because her old design was lovely. Cool. Are you talking about this one with the toned down green a little bit? That I... The one with the power armor. Yeah, I like that one too. Okay, awesome. Next person on the list is six. That's Medi again. again. And then one is me. Three is Commander. Four. Five. Three. Jesus wow. Christ. Five. <laughs> Come on. Like, it's statistically Two. It's not much harder. But... Nine. Sworin. Oh, hey, we messed up right at the very end. Just like always. Soren. All right. Well, that's all I got. See you guys later. No. Okay. Okay. This is Blackjack. She's fucking awesome. Okay. Who is um, it drawn by? Uh, Shardy. S H A R D I I. Cool. Uh, I think it's. I think it's pretty cool. I I I think it's pretty cool. I I I I I. Yeah. Okay. I think it's pretty cool. Great. As we always do, uh, Soren, tell us a little a little bit about this character. Okay. But god damn it, don't you fucking spoil anything. Alright. Yeah, it'd be a commander over here. Spoiler alert! Anyway. Um, so this is a character very de near and dear to my heart. This is Blackjack from Fallout Equestria Project Horizons. Um, her character is just really well done. She's, uh, she's kind of a little on the less smart side, but she's still a lovable character. I'm not saying she's dumb as a bag of rocks or anything, because that's what one of my friends made it sound like before I read the fic, but she's actually quite clever in some parts. Um, so she's it almost makes her seem average. She's not like this goddess of the wasteland that can just do anything. She has her limitations. She's um, not Mary Sue. She, <laughs> she's dense. I love this mare. She, her color palette's great. 
want to bring up a quick thing that should be brought up because art and stuff. This is not how the main normally looks. Just yeah, it's uh, know. it's uh, canon. Somber, somber. The writer of the fan fiction has actually said before it is a striped main. So, sorry, I didn't want to spoil the story. Uh, yes, Commander, we know you found another good art, but it was too late. But yes, the main is striped. Although I do like the explosion, like the inner color, outer color, it's kind of cool. But it is striped. Uh, this actually beat out Fallout Equestria, the original, for my new favorite book. Because this character has changed my life in many ways. Um, just changed the way I view things. Uh, made me a little bit more confident in myself where I'm going, so... I've seen, like, a bunch of pictures of Blackjack, not knowing at all about anything. I like the situations where I've seen this character in, but I haven't read anything about it, so I wouldn't know the faintest thing about it. So... so you want me to maybe try and give you a, like a little bit of a rundown of the character? It, don't feel like you have to, but if you want to, sure. Okay. Well, Shinsoren... I mean, well, Soren, do you want to try and actually run out the character with it? without spoiling uh, anything? I don't. I don't really have a brief summary. Okay, real quick though, I'm gonna try here. Uh, if not, whatever. Um, so she's from Stable Ninety Nine. <gasps> um, a gasp. Uh, basically a matriarchy. You learn all this shit in the first chapter, so whatever. It's basically a matriarchy. All the males are sex slaves, and um, yeah, she is a security mare. So she's commonly known as security. Um. She's just totally badass. I, she's got a, um, she's got a great heart to her. Um, she's, she has a little bit more heart than the other mares in the stable. A lot of the other mares are heartless towards the stallions. Uh, she's like, got a great heart. You know but what? Yet just... She's got spades. How could <sighs> she have great hearts if she's got spades? <sighs> I, I'm sorry. Are you telling me that her heart is as rare as diamonds? Her. Her character comes in spades, that's what I'm saying. And no one cares about clubs. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's a lot nicer to the other Salians. She's a little bit more aware of what should be. Um, you know, how things should be in the world. Uh, she's less cruel to the Salians. All the other mares treat them like fucking sex toys. But... Since you have to get on a breeding roster in Sable 99 to actually get a stallion, a lot of the mares form lesbian relationships, so she is bisexual, which is totally fucking awesome, because I'm like, I'm gonna say she's go like, girl. She's like omnisexual. Uh, the <laughs> fuck technicality, she'll she's fuck, bisexual, I don't care. She's a, she's a horn dog. It's uh, if you've got anything better than that, Commander, you probably have something better well, for uh, summary. One thing that's really cool interesting to see is how the character progresses through the wasteland and sort of goes from like at first she's really like sort of confused and like is like like kind of messed up by the wasteland but then just get become is sort of like i wouldn't say gets used to it but then get has like develops that real go get him attitude where she's just like yeah i'm just going to be a badass and do badass things and stuff and then it, it's a it's a very deep story that if you want to get into it, it I'm just going to tell you, it is an undertaking. It is like 1.45 million words so far. So if you want to read it, it's great. Has it wrapped up yet? Time. No. It's getting close, It's still though. going? It's getting close, I think. I, I haven't read, but it's it, it's in the fi it's in the fifth volume, which I I hope is the last, because I want, to, I want it to be done so I can finish it. Yeah, Somber, <laughs> I know you're listening. Finish up the book. Come on. Then I can start. We, uh, I, I'm not trying to rush you. No, I am. Saying. I need the book to be done so I can start. I love you, Somber. Thank you for helping me figure myself out through your character. Also, Anyway. What... Yeah, go ahead, Commander. I was just going to say, it's it's really interesting because it, it, Blackjack, aside from the white coat, is like a, a red and black OC. Like, But it fucking works. But it it works seem... because of the cards. She of owns that shit. Freaking playing cards. Finally, a thing I can talk about. Playing cards. Uh, what, what exactly is your talent, exactly? 
Okay, to give you a brief synopsis, she she plays cards in the stable, and she's really good at gambling, because a lot of the mares will get together after work and, and play cards, and just I'm like going, anybody I'm else. And I'm going to also just say that it's sort of a thing that you could probably insinuate, is she's, she's yeah. like, it has to do with luck. Like, she's, she, can be, she can be pretty lucky at times. Is her luck skill yes. a 10? I, I would say yes, sometimes it doesn't feel like that, but... We well, need stats. Just because. Yeah, come on. All the other characters sometimes... have stats except for Little Pip. Oh. Except for Little Oh, Pip. so that makes this a bad character. You know, she's up she all She doesn't have a special. Oh, yeah, she totally. fucking sucks. Anyway. Gambling. Uh, final words on this one there, Soren? Um, I don't know. Red and black, it works with the white. I love it. Because cards. Uh, it's honestly one of my favorite color palettes. Uh... Great character, just well written for anybody. Even if she doesn't change your life, God, she'll make you laugh. She'll make you cry. Uh, she'll make you want to punch. She'll yourself. make you want to. Uh, I ought to say real quick. I've never cried at any books that I've ever read. This book has made me cry twice so far, and I'm on about page twenty-two hundred out of three thousand something. <laughs> oh, so. spoilers! Oh God, we better not talk about it then. We better move oh, on yeah. to. Oh, Let's move on to smooth Fuck character. Fuck you for chapter fucking 33. Goddamn bullshit. Alright. Well, moving on to the final one of this episode of the good OCs. Moving on to smooth. I've seen this one before. Okay. Tell us about the, it. This is Ice Dice by Lethal Aurora Mage. She um, is from a stable that ha uh, apparently... I didn't know this. Apparently all stables have their own weird quirks. She is from the only Fallout story I have read anything about. Winter Winds. And at the time of recording, as far as I know, it only has one chapter out. You need to write more, it's freaking beautiful. Um, okay. So far it's mainly only in the exposition phase. She's only just explaining stuff about everything. Uh... Her stable has the prestige system, where um, it's high-class society and low-class society both together. However, it's screwed. It's totally rigged against the low-class, because, like, prestige points basically are, like, like money, but you get taxed, weighted against you the the less your rank is the more your tax is so you can't so you can start out as a high class society but you can't get into the high class society if you're that not is in so it stupid. you can also what? lose your high class society if you lose enough prestige who... so you can absolutely get screwed over who would agree to that um, high class society. It's run <laughs> by it. You know. Yeah, they run it. <laughs> they do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. It's getting, it's, shit's getting political. It's incredibly politically rigged. It's that actually. You know that actually. I want to start reading this now. It's freaking she's, beautiful. Also, it's, it's still only at one chapter. I don't care. She, that sounds awesome. She, since it's in chapter one, I think I'm allowed to say this because yep. it's spoiler chapter one. Um. She used to be high class society, but then her mother tried to leave the stable, which is Ooh. actually an offense in yeah. that stable. Instead of just that's, a, no. that's an offense in a lot. Yeah, of stables. a lot of stables. Really? Yeah, opening the stable yeah. doors unless you were told by the people ahead of time is usually against the rules because you're trying to maintain non contamination. Well, yeah. um, apparent apparently she left at some point. And all of the sudden, um, so, she accrued a lot of debt in prestige. Uh, her mother did. But since her mother wasn't there anymore, um, everything went over to Ice Dice. All of that debt went over to Ice Dice. So she just instantly got destroyed and friggin' low class like no other. And... And if you're low enough in prestige and not doing very well, um, you uh, you might get the send off, which is such a great thing. It's it's one of the highest honors 
that you get thrown out into the world outside to die. But if you Yay! come back, you get hailed as a hero. But you won't. But they. But you won't come back because you're going to die out there. B- because because they won't let you in. <laughs> yeah. Most likely don't... case they won't let you in. But she right now very much so fears for herself because she's not doing well at all. Uh, she has she has a bit of ice magic, which one of her companions, friends, whatever, has stated to be pretty cool. Ha ha ho ho he ha ho. Okay, I'm glad you did that because I was about to. Was that a pun? And she herself can be kind of cold at times. Ooh, get off the stage! (laughs) She used to be incredibly spiteful because of because she was high class society, and then all of a sudden she lost everything. So she was like, "Hey, hey, can can help friends." Friends who are also high class society can help, and they were like, "No, you're low class. Screw you." So she lost every single one but one friend, and now she's become jaded and spiteful to everyone except for those who actually accept her, which are Good. pretty much pretty much all low class society now. And ugh, fuck yeah, life sucks. Out of ten, Apparently. and that's as much personality backstory as I can remember at this exact moment. Cool, awesome. Uh, Soren, what do you think of this character being our special guest? Uh, sick cutie, Mark Bra. Um, from what I can see, it's pretty cool. Looks like little, little ah! like a ice claw mark thing. But, um, what's awesome is the color palette. It's very nice. I like how it incorporates this sort of darker, like a midnight blue almost. I know I'm not explaining it right. On top of another dark blue. It's definitely dark blue. Uh, uh, navy? Fuck it. It's some kind of. It's some kind of dark blue. It could be midnight. It could be cerulean. Who gives a fuck? It's blue. Um, I really like this darker blue as a color, and I've never been able to incorporate it in anything cool personally. But um, Mage does a really good job here. Puts it with this white and this sort of really light blue tone in her mane, uh, and then just fucking red eyes just. Fucking those things are fucking wow. piercing. Just like, like a color so explosion. Amazing. Yeah. But anyway, I read the chapter. Um, Smooth explained it better than I could have. Um, yeah, she's really cold towards everybody. She's jaded because everybody's a fucking asshole to her. And oh, she's she not is a, toward uh, everyone. She's not towards everyone. She's at she least has, she's got. A she's friend. at least okay with those no, who are it, okay with her. Yeah. Is it sta- does it state that and, she has a specific white? Pit boy, or is that just car- is that just artistic? Um, I don't. That might. Mm, might just I don't think it said anything about the color. It of it, the pit it boy. could be like a high class pit book, and they just didn't take it away from her or something. Oh it, no! It, it looks the, a little uh, more fancy. Yeah, she she did get it when she was still high class society. Because it, it looks a little more fancy than your average pit book pit yeah. boy. So, Commander, what do you think of this character? Um. Yeah, I think it's really cool how, like, for the most part, she is, like, a, a generally, like, a monochromatic pony, but it it almost doesn't feel like that because the, the mane is so light of a blue, and it really fits in with the whole ice theme of, that, like, Ice Dice has. And then, like we mentioned, those fucking eyes, those things are, like, it, it, like I wonder what it would have been like before she was sort of became a little bit bitter because those eyes fit very well with the whole this whole like jaded feeling that the character has from being kind of fucked over but i i would i really want to start reading this and i want mage to make more because mage is just good at making things and i know i would enjoy it cuz mage is mage mage is mage Totally not gushing over Mage. Mage, we love you. The mane definitely is perfect in the way that it matches the tail and uh, the mane on tops, so it's great. I also um, like that it seems high class still. Yeah, she still has an air of reg- uh, regency about her. Rega- regality. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, and her clothes kind of look slightly popperish, but still nice. kind of fancy. Yeah. It's super cute. Um, yeah. 
So, any last words on this one there, Smooth? She is incredibly cute. I really like her. Nice. And need more story about. Please.